It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Two Chefs Brewing Company in the wonderful Netherlands and this is a can of their Crying Merman. This is a double IPA coming in at 8.5% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. It's either Crying Merman or Crying Merman. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Little bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. Oh, look at the colour. Oh, ho, ho. straight away, look at the colour of this beer. And have a listen to the carbonation. What a wonderful, wonderful looking double IPA. Oh my goodness me. Wow. Great, hazy. If you were to point out to me what an American IPA, American double IPA should, should look like, I'd go, yeah, just like that. Just like that. Give me that in a glass. Ask me what it looks like. I'd swirl it round and go, yeah, American double IPA. Looks brilliant. Small, small bubbles on the side of the glass. One finger white head that's refusing to dissipate at all. Even though we got a little hiss of carbonation, you can have another listen if you like. And it's just, it's just a lovely tangerine coloured beer, isn't it? Like a light orange, light amber coloured beer. It looks brilliant. Let's get the aroma. Salivating. Rewind back a few seconds, you can see me salivating with this. Do people do that anymore? <laughs> I don't think people have done that since the 1970s, have they? Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Wow. It's a combination of fresh grapefruit and fresh tangerine, but then spicy and peppery and bitterness. Add in a bit of almost like a Belgian candied sugar, a Belgian candied fruit, fruit to this beer. And you, you're just left with a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful aroma on the beer. Beers like this really, really make me smile. Should we dive in? Cheers, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Makes you close your eyes and think of a beautiful summer evening where you've had a wonderful day with friends and family and you're thinking about that one final beer. That one final beer that's going to say good night and wrap up a really lovely evening. Or make you take all your clothes off and jump in the sea. <laughs> Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous beer. I like a finisher. If I'm having a nice time with people, if I've drunk session beer all day, if I've had a nice barbecue and, you know, we've just thrown some corn on the cobs and we've eaten them and then it's getting dark all of a sudden because what happens is when you have barbecues and you start having a drink, the time just clips by really quickly. By the time you finish your mouthful of your of your corn on the cob, cob it, it, it's it's one o'clock in the morning. It's pitch black, and you don't know what's happened. Um, that's what normally happens with me, anyway. But then you're looking for that one final beer, that one final beer to 
to end the night on a really just a nightcap just a nightcap just to finish off a really nice day and this would be the beer this would be the beer forget the top shelf i'm not the top shelf type of guy forget the whiskey the vodka the rum you know i'm not that i i don't i don't really bother you know I know some people, I know some people in my family, they'll have a few beers and they'll crack, crack open a bottle of red wine. And that'll be their kind of finishing type thing. But for me, I'll have a few beers and I'll crack open a double IPA. That's, that's my style. It's got a fantastic rounded mouthfeel. A slightly stick, you can feel the hops on the lips. A slightly kind of rounded mouthfeel from the amount of hops in the beer to 8% ABV. It's peppery and spicy. There's orange peel, there's fleshy blood orange, there's grapefruit flavours coming through. There's a fantastic bitterness coming through on the end, on the end of the beer. But to begin with, there's a fantastic sweetness to the beer. So you've got a perfectly, perfectly balanced double IPA with all of that wonderful sweetness from the malt to begin with and all of that fantastic hop spicy peppery grapefruit passion fruit mango orange peel fleshy blood orange finish on the back end it is a fabulous beer i'm like one of those celebrity chefs at this moment you know waving my arms around and and you know getting a deal with iceland to put my face on the box and sell pizzas you know it's that type of thing going on at the moment i do apologize when i really like a beer it's a clue when I express myself, when I love a beer, I'll start doing all of this kind of... Remember Monkey Island? If you're old enough, remember Monkey Island, the game on the Amiga? Remember Stan? Remember Stan? He used to talk like this, Stan. And you had to nail him in a... You can find a way of nailing this guy in a coffin. And the coffin would be bouncing around. <laughs> oh, brilliant, Dave. But it's almost like I'm Stan. I, I remind myself of, of Stan from Monkey Island. We're doing all this. <laughs> when I get a really, really good beer in my hand. Crying Merman. They kidnapped me, blindfolded me, and took me to some place below sea level. Now I'm stuck here with a nail and fin for legs and all my friends are laughing at me. Please make it stop. Two chefs brewing, serious flavour. So what I like about their brewery is that they have some fun but they're very serious on the flavour of their beer. And they should be because they're making some really seriously flavoursome beers here. Pause the video if you want to have a look at that statement from the company. But I'm going to rate this Crying Merman 8.5% ABV double IPA. I think it's rather brilliant. I think it's rather brilliant and I'm going to reflect that in my rating. I like that enough. To give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!